in the name of Jesus. Call upon the Lord right now. All right, we're ready. Okay. <laughs> the, the, the button, you got to slide it. People of Journal Square, you people who practice homosexuality think you're hated by God is utter nonsense. It's your sin he hates. Bring it down a little bit. Beware of the ignorance that consume you, for it will be your downfall on Judgment Day. If you read the scriptures, you clearly see that no sin is greater than the other. Romans 1, 18 through 32 tells us, but God shows his anger from heaven against all sinful and wicked people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. They know the truth about God because he has made it obvious to them. For ever since the world was created, people have seen the earth go, and go. the sky. Through everything God made, they can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature. So they have no excuse of, have, of not knowing God. Just look around, look at nature. You telling me that there's no God? Yes, they knew God, but they wouldn't worship him as God or even give him thanks. And they begin to think up foolish ideas of what God was like. And as a result, their minds became dark and confused, like what I see today. Claiming to be wise, they instead became utter fools. And instead of worshiping the glorious, ever-living God, they worship idols made to look like mere people, birds, and animals, and reptiles. So God abandoned them to do whatever shameful thing their hearts desired. As a result, they did vile and degrading the, the, things. The closer you are to each other's bodies, they traded the truth about God for a lie. So they worship and serve the things God created instead of the Creator Himself, who is worthy of eternal praise. Amen. That is why God abandoned them to their shameful desires. Even the women turned against the natural way to have sex and instead indulged in sex with each other. And the men, instead of having normal sexual relations with women, burn with lust for each other. Men do shameful things with other men. And as a result of this sin, they suffer within themselves the penalty they deserved. Pick up a Bible, not eyewitness, not social media, and other nonsense to find the truth. Expand your minds with the knowledge of the Holy One. Do not be deceived by those who encourage such vile behavior and malpractice. It's not normal. Look around. This is normal? People are clearly blind to the facts. They're receptive to falsehood. That's normal? You think it's normal for two men to lay down together? Or two women to do the same? Or for you to transform yourself into the opposite sex? Or a mere animal? That's normality. It's an abomination in the sight of the Lord. Many scientists claim that homosexuality and transgenderism is influenced by a gene. You know what that's called? The spirit of Satan. Get delivered in the name of Jesus. You're trying to make a fool out of God's creations. There's people marrying animals now, legally. Yet again, this is normal. There are two boys not too long ago who claimed to be gay jungle spirit animal partners walking around and jumping on all fours. That's normal? A man on YouTube got surgery on his face to be a cat. Hold on, hold on. Try this microphone. That's normal? I like this one. Okay. Free from this place, Satan. Don't be fooled by those who tell you so, for they are going to the fiery pit if they do not repent at once and turn to the one who could save them from damnation. This is stated in Luke 17, 1, where it says, There will be temptations to sin, but what sorrow awaits the one who does the tempting? 
you carnal people who hope to please the flesh for a kick or stimulation. Cease further engagement in such practices, for it's a slippery slope down the grave. We are not here to bash, no, we're here to sugarcoat. The truth is the truth. We're not here to sell you a dream or to be your friend. We're here to get you help. It's a emergency. I see sickness abound, uh, lady and it needs to be cleansed me. I don't know. with the holy blood of the Lamb. Do not turn your backs on this message or invitation, for it's not going to be here long. For the final hour is approaching, and the Lord is going to make his return. Jesus prophesies of what's to come, and we are living in those times right now. This is his warning for the deaf and the blind. John 12, 35 through 36. My light will shine for just a little longer. Walk in the light while you can, so the darkness will not overtake you. Those who walk in darkness cannot see where they are going. Put your trust in the light while there is still time. Then you will become the children of the light. He also states in John 13, 44, 50, if you trust in me, you are not trusting only in me, but also God who sent me. For when you see me, you are seeing the one who sent me. I have come as a light to shine in a dark world, so that all who put their trust in me will no longer remain in the dark. I will not judge those who hear me, but don't obey me. For I have come to save the world and not judge it. All who reject me and my message will be judged in the day of judgment by the truth I have spoken. I don't speak on my own authority. The Father who sent me has commanded me what to say and how to say it. And I know his commands lead to eternal life. So I say whatever the Father tells me. So you see, guys, I left with no excuse on Judgment Day. This message is being spoken all over the world to many nations and many kingdoms. Those with working ears have heard. You cannot fool or bargain out of judgment. All right, she sent it somewhere else. Or plead with the excuse of, I wasn't aware. Because when two or more stand on a matter with the Lord as a witness, it's been declared. It's time to make your final decision of whether you want to live or die. Your blood is on your own hands. We've they warned you countless like times to repent and abandon your wicked ways. Yeah, but those who stand before us, taunting us and mocking us, will receive an unimaginable fate Anything going that the they caused upon themselves. This is what self-love gets you. Fire and brimstone. Right. Come on to Jesus before it's too late. Don't wait to decide. Your salvation isn't on right away. It's to be received right now, today. For those who claim to believe in God, here's Jesus' message. John 15, 23. He states, anyone who hates me also hates my father. This proves that the only true God can be found in Jesus Christ and anything else is Satan himself. So, the people of Journal Square, do not let your pride and hard hearts lead you to destruction because we stand on this soil today warning you that you must prepare yourselves for the day of judgment. And for many, it will be a rude awakening. The early bird is the one that catches the worm, just as the one who repents before the end will see the light of day. God bless. He's fierce.